at Coco K, Key K. I think if it rhymes, it's true. But we are gonna tour you through this entire island, so make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end to see all the festivities, all the attractions, all the things to do here. And first up is Chill Island. So let's get into it. Like the sign behind me says, we're at Chill Island and it's built into the name. It's meant to be a relaxation destination. I don't think you can actually swim in the water. We're about to show you around the, um, around the corner because there's a rock barrier reef, but it's no live music, maybe read some books, hang out. It's right off the entrance, so it's gonna be the first place that you see other than the water park if you don't have that um, pass, which we'll show you later. But let's make it inside and see what there is to do. Welcome back to the Mitch of Mitch Ellico. Look at these. So we got the Symphony and the Allure. Quick tip, we actually many, many years ago did all this before on the symphony and it's great to be reunited like five years later so now we've done the allure and the symphony and we're pros on both of those make sure to check out our video after this one for a tour of the allure it's going to be a 10 out of a 10. Uh, we have just left the chill island we're walking across this beautiful bridge um, right off the entrance from the chill island you should definitely stop and grab a couple photos of the two beautiful cruise ships that you're going to be on and they are going to be royal caribbean cruise ships because this is a royal caribbean island so 10 out of 10 so far absolutely beautiful we're lucky we have a good sunday but let's go ahead and tour the entire island and give you guys a nice review and see what it's like guys sunglasses are a must the uh sand is so white so beautiful and so blinding you can see the cruise ships in the back and then we just came out to chill island i'm probably the loudest thing here there's no live music there's people reading their books hanging out there is a great photo opportunity on this deck over here that's kind of away from the crowds the craziness but like i said it's mostly rocks over here so it's more just relaxation you don't want to go very far but you want to get off the ship we are still on on Chill Island, we're wandering through, but it's really cool. There is um, shops in the distance. They're Bohemian Ran shops. So the owners are from the Bahamas. So you can buy things here um, that are Bahama themes or Royal Caribbean themes. And usually things are negotiable. But also over here, we have a diver's den. We have snorkeling behind me, a meeting place right after you get off the ship. And there's a bar in the distance, which we will see frequently throughout this island because of the drink package that Royal Caribbean offers. But we are on to, um, oh no, I think this is called Straw Market and we're wandering through and then we're gonna see the giant pool that we can stop at first. Left to Straw Market, wandered just across the street. Everything is so close and walkable here. There is uh, Captain Jack's, another bar right as you come in. If that was the first bar you'd hit, there it is. There's also cracked coconut, but this is Oasis Lagoon. It is the largest freshwater pool. Pool? Yeah, pool with a swim up bar, it advertises, but I'm pretty sure they're standing over there with their huts. Uh, but you can move around the island depending on how loud you want the music to be, and then move a little bit farther away for some quiet time. Salt but water or fresh water? Fresh water? In the Bahamas, the salt water. No, it's the largest fresh water. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought there was ocean water that had salt in it. No, no, no. I think it has salt in it. Oh, I'm gonna fact check because I got my I got my handy dandy itinerary. <laughs> Mitch doesn't believe me. Oh my gosh, the zip lining. <laughs> so he's making me try the water, but as I come around the corner, there's definitely a gateway to the ocean. So this might not be true. Why don't you taste the water? Taste the water for the crab. I don't know if my skirt can taste some foot water. Yeah, totally taste fresh water, guys. No, it doesn't. Okay, it's salt it's water. It's like a salty pretzel. Dang it, I got my facts wrong, but we're still going. There's beverage stations all over the island. These are included where you can get some juice, water on the go, if you're lucky enough to have great weather like we are. But here are the decisions. We got fruit and cookies. It's not open yet. It's 1040 in the morning, but this is more like the wind jammer area. Okay, welcome back to the Mitch of Mitch Elico again. <laughs> Behind me, well one, there's an amazing plane. Wow, look at that twin. He's running some drugs. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, he's a smuggler. Uh, there is a trolley behind us, so if you get tired, maybe you can take a plane. That was amazing. But you can take a trolley back and to the cruise ship because it is a long run. But obviously, there's a lot of people getting on it, and the island's really big. So 
if you're not in the best of shape and you do want to get around the island, you can actually just take a trolley around and there's a track that goes around the entire island. We found it last time we were here and we walked the whole track, so pretty cool. According to my fact sheet that I no longer trust, this is the correct place, the Oasis Lagoon, largest freshwater. It looks like a legit pool, so it looks more realistic, not the ocean flowing into it. Um, we thought that you needed a wristband to get in here because some are adults only sections, but this is open, open air and good music. She's gonna have to taste the water here too. <laughs> Welcome to another pool, amazing. This is a 10 out of 10 island. Again, we've been here already. We didn't get the YouTube video the first time, but the second time's even better. So if we've already been here and we're enjoying it, we come back, that's a tall tale sign. This is a good location and a good place to come. Another bar for you, right over here, the swim up bar. So you can get alcohol in the water, on the water, on the sand, wherever you want. You can get a nice drink. <laughs> it's a great island. The snack shack. Okay, there was the main cafeteria area, but these are strategically placed all over the island. We have heard there is a special sandwich you can get, which is a chicken sandwich with mozzarella sticks and uh, marinara sauce, but it's not on the menu, so you gotta ask for it. But this is great. I actually have a picture last time we were here, double fisting marinara <laughs> sticks. <laughs> It was great if you want a snack, um, but behind us there's beach, there's cabanas, there's um, the floating cabanas that you can rent, but we'll show you it next. Okay, as you can see behind me, there are nice cabanas. Amazing, they look good. These are pretty cool because they're over the water. Everyone likes over the water. Now, you gotta ask yourself, are they worth 2,000 plus, $2,000 for like maybe eight hours? That's a lot of money. So we heard that's about the running going price for one of the cabanas to rent for the day. And keep in mind, you're only on this from like 8 a.m., no, maybe like 9 a.m. to like 4 p.m. and then you gotta go. So if you're flush with cash and you wanna be on the ocean on a cabana, $2,000. If you're a little bit more, which is still crazy to me, thrifty, you look behind us and they got these little cabanas made out of sticks and uh, shower curtains. <laughs> and they run you about $400. So just depending, or you can just walk the island like we are, and I think that's more bang for your buck. Just depends on where, how much you want to spend on the island. Okay, you got the snack shack, you got the uh, sand beach area, but you also got the sports pavilion. We have giant, what's this called when you put them in? Things behind me? Checkers. No. Uh, four in a row, four in a row. Four squares. It's four, no, okay, you can four see it. <laughs> you can see, thank connect you. Four. Connect yeah. four <laughs> from the crowd, connect four. There's also a giant chest. There is almost pool, but with soccer balls. There's uh, volleyball. We haven't come across the basketball courts, but these are uh, around. Something different from the cruise ship because the cruise ship mostly is organized and this is like a free for all. You can do it at your leisure. So, Definitely something to check out if you want to take a rest from getting your suntan. As you can read, Coco K Beach Club. Now this is uh, something that you have to pay extra for. Running rate today, and you'll notice that it changes by season, variation demand, is about $300. You can get in here per person. Um, I think kids are, I know, kids are allowed to come in, but there's also an extra charge adults only area, the Hideaway Beach, which we'll continue to show you this one, but they let us get into this beautifully mans landscaped area. Get the sign on film. <laughs> it, I think it looks a lot like the beach that we we're just on, but it's more exclusive. So if that's what you're going for, more privacy, then check it out. How many private islands have you been to that have a helium ride to go up in? Now, this one you can pay extra. It's classified as a shore excursion and they're watering down the road, so it's gonna be a little loud. One second, we'll be right with you. Okay, time out. <laughs> and after that brief commercial break, we're back. Okay, so the helium is an extra cost to go on, but I hear that weather conditions need to be near perfect, which if you saw us when we walked in, it was so, so windy. So probably not operating today, but again, an additional cost. If it's operating, 
do it while you can. If it goes down and you already bought it, they'll give you your money back. So uh, I've been on Survivor. No, I haven't, but I want to be on Survivor. And I found a hidden immunity duck, <laughs> not an idol. Uh, this is fun. They're all around. So I guess you're looking for ducks. I don't know why. It does have like their name and things on here. So you might find this in a hidden spot like this where it really feels like I'm on Survivor. This is how you get to South Beach. So right off of where we just were with the snack shack, you just keep on walking a little bit and you'll see a sign that says uh, South Beach. And so we're going to walk through the little jungle here and find South Beach and maybe some more ducks. To South Beach. Now this is exactly like a Miami vibe where it's loud music, party pumping, basketball dribbling behind me. You come here, it's the furthest away from everything, but it's worth the walk, guys. This is more upbeat. Enjoy yourself here. But we're about to take you to yet another snack shack. Maybe grab a snack snack. Okay, back over to South Beach. Really nice. We have some great photos from the first time we're here. You and your family or you. We'll have some great photos too here. Yeah, like Ella said, it is definitely worth the walk. It's popping. It's a busy day. Weather's pretty good today. We're in May, I think, is when we're here. Yeah, May. Uh, you got float up swim bar. More booze. Now you can have booze on the water. I mean, <laughs> this is a great trip. Uh, Ella likes the jet ski lifeguard just in case you need a little bit of backup over there. Uh, and then they have another paid cabanas way out over to your left just in case you need a little bit more exclusivity. And yeah, this is a really nice hot spot today. Literally, there's tons of people here. So th the island's been popping off today. Uh, this would be a good spot to come check out though if you want to hit the whole island. We would recommend this. The other thing is we haven't hit the water park yet. So keep that in mind. Um, you're going to run out of time quick. Guys, we found the Bahama Rooster. What's up, buddy? He was in this for a while before I pulled up. So we started here, uh, the grill, and then took this route over to the Seaside Point, the Coral. Then we made it all the way up here, took you through Chill Island, then the Oasis Lagoon with the fresh water. Okay, guys, not the other one. Then we came up out to, oh, we, we skipped over Breezy Bay to go to the uh, Helium Ride. And then went all the way to the farthest corner to South Beach where there's the floating bar and the basketball courts. And now we're coming back to the main attraction, the theme park, the extra cost to show you a sneak peek. To a, another kid's park, uh, which would make sense. We were just at Atlantis, there's an awesome, yesterday Atlantis was 10 out of 10 on the kid park with the uh, Greek theme, the Athens theme, the Greece. That was so good. This is really good too. If you look over to my left here, Lots of flies. Extremely kids appropriate. Probably from like, maybe like two, down to two or three, all the way up to like six or seven. Great rides, very entertaining. Uh, this island has adults needs, kids needs, old people needs. <laughs> it has everyone. So you will find what you're looking for. If you're thinking of a perfect day in the Bahamas, you will absolutely find it here. Entertainment, delicious food, drinks, and amazing memories for little kids. Hey, like you saw, we are on top of this pirate ship. What a great view. You can see the water parks behind me. Holy smokes. I hiked all the way up here. This is another kid activity that you can take advantage of. Right after you get off the cruise ship, you just jump on here and the kids can get on another cruise. Let's go. Welcome to Thrill Water Park. This is exclusively on Perfect Day at Coco Cay, but it is an extra cost. It greets you as soon as you get off the ship, so it's really enticing to go on and there is so much to do inside, but it is one about 155 per person. Um, so if you get here early and make the most of it, or if you don't hit Atlantis the day before, like on our cruise, then we would say it could be worth it. I think there's a wave pool. There's the tallest water slide in North America um, and all kinds of different places to enjoy and even some family friendly places too. So if you're gonna be here on the island and it piques your interest and you didn't buy any other excursion, I'd say go for it. A couple cool things. Uh, we actually went on this last time we were here. And so we have experience inside there. 
$155 for two people, I mean, that's 310 right there. It can get expensive on this island, and there's so much to do without paying anything. So that's kind of what we've done so far. All inclusive with the all inclusive cruise ship. We've paid no extra charge, and we've gotten so much entertainment so far. So you don't have to go buy the $2,000 cabana or even get into the water park, even though they are amazing. Uh, when we went to the water park, I think the best couple things, there's a big giant wave pool, which is really cool. And then it's one of those things that you do have to go on the tallest water slide. It is very fast and very quick. And when we came, we actually had bad weather. So if you buy it in advance and you get bad weather, that might be a little bit of sour thing. So I pro tip, I would say, wait to make sure you're gonna get good weather and then book the water park. Cause you don't wanna get it and pay in advance and it's cloudy and cold cause the weather can change on you. But it is very entertaining. And I'd say it's worth $150 as a water park in itself. Like if you came here a day, it's pretty good value. Guys, we made it to the hideaway. This is the exclusive indie, exclusive, <laughs> $30 adults only area. It's at the next farthest nook. Like we're totally um, parallel with the South Beach, but you have to walk the whole island to get there, which we did, or you can take the tram. But this is um, a little bit more relaxed, hang out, no kids, drink it up. I'm sure there's uh, DJs and live music too because it is an adults only area. We weren't, and we didn't buy it, but if you did, you can get access through your key card. So make sure that you bring your key card to get off the ship, obviously. Um, and then also, just keep in mind that this is uh, farther away from everything and more exclusive. That's what you're into. Up to you. But there's so much stuff that you can enjoy without paying for it. Something to keep in mind. Uh, as Ella just said, another secret island. It's a hideaway. It's a good name. I love it. Hideaway. Uh, there, like you said, there is a couple bars and another beach over here. Again, I said this earlier in this video. This perfect day at Coco Cay, you really can make it any way that you want it. I would say you could come here when you're a kid, you'd come here in your 20s, you'd come here in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and literally experience something different. They did a really, really good job with this island. It will hit what you're looking for. I love it, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing. Second time here, we'll be here for a third time, absolutely, absolutely. I would recommend hitting this place up. It's so close to America that even if you're visiting America, it would be really cool to take this cruise ship while you're in America from Miami or Florida. Okay, did you see the sandcastle behind us? That was what greeted us. We're back to where we started, but it's the end of the video. How was the day, babe? Amazing. Actually, you know what? It was perfect. A perfect uh, day. A perfect day at Coco K or Key? I don't know. It's K. K. It's Came, Cayman Island, so K. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, we just wanted to say we took you on a full tour, made a loop. One of the, our takeaways is that there's so much to do without cost that is still covered in the cruise ship. So if you stop here, just enjoy the things that are offered. But if you want to spend more money, they definitely give you some opportunities. Yes, it was amazing. It was a perfect day. Would we come back here again for a third time, like I said earlier? Yes, it's yeah. that good. You should come here and definitely experience it for yourself. Camera doesn't do it justice. So much to do, so much entertainment. Bring the family, don't bring the family all the way from zero ages to 100 years old, you have a good time here. Yeah, it appeals to everybody. So thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. Make sure you like and subscribe this video and uh, we'll, we'll be, be doing a ship tour of the Allure of the Seas, a Royal Caribbean uh, ship tour. And if you missed our Atlantis, go back and watch that oh, one, yeah. the water park from yesterday, chef's kiss. But we'll see you on the next one.